specs of Git can seem a bit cryptic at first, but fortunately installation is a breeze. In this video, you'll learn how to install Git on Windows and Mac OS X. There are a couple of different ways of installing Git. If you enjoy compiling software on your system, you can go ahead and install Git from source. For detailed instructions, visit https colon slash slash gist.github.com slash 4233.08. If you've done this sort of thing before, you shouldn't find it too difficult. However, that's a little bit beyond the scope of this video. Instead, we're going to use the nice package installers that the Git project provides us. Regardless of your platform, the first thing you're going to want to do is direct your browser to git-scm.com. We're going to walk through installation for Mac OS X first, and then we'll walk through the installation for Windows. So over here on the right side, we just need to click on the OS X icon there. Now, in order to use the package installer, you need to be running OS X Leopard or later. They do have a universal binary down here at the bottom if you're not running an Intel chip yet. Chances are you are though, so the version you'll want to install is the most recent version up at the top here. So if you just click it, you can click here and the file will start downloading. And once a file has downloaded, you just need to go ahead and go to your downloads folder and off screen here, I'm just going to go ahead and mount the disk image. And we just need to go ahead and double click this package installer here. And then it'll give us a nice software installation wizard and we can go ahead and just click through the steps here and it'll ask you to enter your password and then it will go ahead and install git and it should finish pretty quickly and that's it now in order to make sure that we installed git correctly you're going to want to go ahead and open up the terminal if you've never used terminal before you can find it in the utilities folder inside your applications directory once you're done installing Git, you'll want to check to make sure that it's installed properly. And to do that, we're just going to type git dash dash version. And if the package installed correctly, you should see the version number for the version of Git that you downloaded. At the time of this recording, the latest version is 1.7.3.1. It's that easy. Now, if you are having trouble installing Git, please check the readme file that came inside of the disk image for common problems and solutions. For example, if you have the iPhone developer tools open while the installer is running, you could run into some issues. Now, if you're using Windows, your experience of installing Git should be somewhat similar, but there are a few more configuration options when installing. So first, you'll want to visit git dash scm.com just like we did before and then over here on the right hand side just click the package installer option for windows and this will take you to a screen with a few options to choose from unless you have some very specific needs i recommend using the full installer up at the top it will install git and give you everything that you need so let's go ahead and download that and we'll just download this executable here and save it to our computer and then we can go ahead and run it this will bring up the installation wizard similar to the one on mac os 10. and when we go through this wizard you'll actually have a few more options so we'll go ahead and accept the licensing agreement say we want to install it in program files and if you want you can install the context menu entries for Windows Explorer so that when you're in the Git directory, you can bring up the special Git terminal just by right clicking and bringing up a context menu. If you've ever used Tortoise SVN or something similar, this works just like that. 
Some people find this easier to use, but I'm going to go ahead and just stick with the defaults in this particular case. So I'm going to hit next and we'll add it to our start menu. And now you come to another choice. Because we're on Windows, we don't really have a proper command prompt like other Unix based operating systems. So we'll need to use something called git bash. You can run git from the Windows command prompt using Sigwin and this will add git to your path. Finally, you can run git and other Unix tools from the vanilla command prompt. However, I don't recommend using these last two options here unless you really know what you're doing. Having installed Git onto several Windows computers in the past, the default option at the top is the most stable choice, so we'll go ahead and stick with that. Next, there's the question of whether you should have Windows line endings or Unix line endings. Again, you should be fine sticking with the defaults here. However, if you're the one Windows person on your team and you're collaborating with other developers that are using OS X or some other flavor of Unix, you may want to quickly consult with them before making this decision. Again, in most cases, the defaults are fine, so don't stress over it. So we'll go ahead and click Next. And with that, we're now installing Git. And this should finish pretty quickly here. Now, if we stuck with the defaults, there should be a Git folder that's been added to your start menu. So we'll go ahead and go to all programs here and we'll go to Git. And we're gonna go ahead and open up Git bash right here. This is a bash command prompt running inside of Windows and it's how you'll interact with Git. If we go ahead and type git dash dash version and hit enter, you should see the version number for the version of git that you installed. And again, at the time of this recording, the latest version is 1.7.3.1. Installing git used to be a bit tricky, but with the packaged versions we have now, installing git is actually pretty easy. 